a beauty as well. <sighs> no Hawkins a problem. It's a problem. So here we go. I'm back on my favorite permission. Um, Sunday, got a few hours before I go to mother and doors for a roast dinner. And I've got a nice little target in the hole. Um, I can't see it yet, but I make my way down to it. And there's a nice little piece of shiny pottery poking through there. Look at that. I find it really hard to date pottery, so I couldn't tell you. But if anybody knows, let me know in the comment below. Somewhere down here, I've got a target. I haven't got it on the pinpointer yet. It's still deeper. It's still deeper to go. So I'm starting to see something poking through just here. I've got a bit of black material coming through. Get my little scraper out. See if I can reveal it. There it is. The coinage. Oh, I have such a cutsy fingers. Very toasty. I'll give it a clean up and I'll attach a photo. Another target, just turn the clod over. See it's out there. What a wrecker. It's a coinage. Yet again. Completely toasted. Not gonna be able to get any detail off that. The happy days. So I'm on a ridgeway right here. And on top of this ridgeway, I've seemed to have found a lot of medieval. Um, a few hammers, early hammers, all the way up to the 17th century love tokens. Um, yeah, it's quite a productive area this, it must be an old roadway. It must be an old roadway, I found Roman on the top of this ridgeway. But it's only on top of the ridgeway. So fingers crossed I find some more, I've just done one pass along the hedge line, changed the smaller coil. I'm really happy with this Knox Powerbank charger, three days now I've had it running. Still on full battery, the Knox charger is down to one. So, three days, well happy. Next target. Pew pew. Little two two. Next target, this one. Just doing the side wall around here. There's the little pry out. Still in there. Still in there. Right on top of it though, you can just get louder and louder. A bit wider. There it is, another coinage. It's a shame everything comes out of the ground here completely toasted. Unless it's silver, it just comes out like toast. In the finds pod, that goes. That's coin number three for the day. Various buttons, pew pews. A um, few bits of junk as well. That's everything. On to the next one. Next hole. When you have a heart attack, golden colour, flip it over. You see the silver come through. Aluminium. Ugh. Gutted. I thought I found some gold for a minute then. No, nope, just a piece of alley. Oh, well, off to the next one. I reckon I've got another coin. Bring it up in the 20s. Around here somewhere. Another coinage. Yet again, it's another toasty. Can't see exactly what it is. Let's see if I can get some detail off it when I get it home. Can it clean up with the composite pigmented kit? But I highly doubt it. The ground here in Devon just absolutely eats everything. Really, really does. It's not nice to the coins at all. Unless it's silver, gold. Or Georgievus. Georgievus, it seems to be alright, doesn't eat them too much. But pretty much anything else, gone. 
I'm not happy. So I'm walking along my position and I've started to notice really poorly dug holes. I feel it. I've had night hawkers stay to that. They seem to be blooming everywhere. I mean, I've worked from the bush to where my shovel is. I walk along. You see, turn it over fresh mud. So, uh, one of the troubles about doing YouTube and stuff like that is that you will get people who try to find out where your permission is and go down there and dig it during the night without permission and leave it an absolute shite on. And then you've got to explain to the farmer of what's going on, why is there holes everywhere, why is the holes not being filled in properly. I mean, just terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's not acceptable, not acceptable at all. <sighs> Night Hawkins a problem. It's a problem. Check out this beauty. Absolutely lovely. Real nice. Well, I thought I'd take five minutes. I've come down off the hill, working this lower part along here. I've had a few coins um, along here before. I found a fourpence, loads of uh, thimbles. But I haven't been down here since it's been grazed. So I think I'm gonna give it a go. I've only got about an hour left before I've got to head over to the mother-in-law's. Uh, two hours, two hours. Two hours left before I head to mother-in-law's for a roast. Um, I'm thinking I might head down towards that gate you see in the distance there. And then we'll wait to the next hill. Happy hunting. Another target, it's in the hole. See the rim of it right there. I reckon it's gonna be a burden. No, it's not. It is like a like a pin. Oh. Reminds me like a grenade pin. Hold it, throw the grenade. God knows. In the bag it goes. Another little hole. Lovely little spectacle buckle. Lovely little spectacle buckle. Happy with that? Come on. Another great little find. Look at that for a little pendant badge. Then you can make out the lion and the badge underneath. I'll have to go and clean up or do a bit of research to find out what it is or what it represents. But uh, yeah, boy. Gutted, I haven't got none of the gold panning with me, gear with me. It's been a gold prospector, this is exactly what you look for. You've got exposed bedrock on there. Um, you've got a nice big ledge. I don't know you can see it. Along there. It'll catch all your heavies. So any gold in the area will get caught in there and uh, it's got no way of getting out. There's a nice channel here of bedrock. I think I might have to come back with my gold panning gear. Especially with Roman being found in the area as well. The Romans were here for something. Uh, whether it's the minerals we could offer or whatever they could get their hands on really. But there's those little cracks and crevices. Get down there. Without falling in. Yeah. Cracks in the bedrock down there. Just fills up the material. All the heavy material falls into it and then it can't get back out. Oh. Didn't bring no gold pan of gear with me, unfortunately. Uh, crack along there. That's all in there, nice and solid. And it's on bedrock too. There's a nice little stretch of it. So, uh, next time I come back down to here, bring in some pan of gear. Might even bring a snorkel. It's a lovely little bedrock gully that. Last hole of the day, I've been hoping for some silver. I think I've got a hammy. Just revealed it. Poking out here. Oh, it's a beauty as well. Can't really see the details on it until I give it a clean up, but there's the cross on the back. I think it might be another John. Give it a wipe over, give me a second. There you go, it's quite toasty. I think it might be a Henry. That thrown on the floor. Yeah, I think it's a Henry by the curls. 
I'm going to spray with me, but you can see H-A. I'm going to say it's Henry. Correct me if I'm wrong. But happy days. Come on. Um, and that was on the way back to the car. So for me, see you later.